Hey friends, Greg here with the Pennywise guys. I have another washing system we're going to install on this customer's house. This one's going to be interesting to watch because it's going to be three arrays washed with two pop-up sprinklers and a van four sprinkler head. So one manifold on the north side array that's going to wash that and the south side array and the east side array. Let me show you how it works and how to build it. Let's get started. All right, I got three arrays on this system here. Uh, the back array, this is the north array that's got a tilting, tilting rack, uh, you know, so it can face a little bit south. We're gonna put the sprinkler heads on this array. We're gonna have one there and one down at the end. We're gonna have two of the Rainbird uh, pop-ups that reach 34 feet. And then we have the, uh, two, two panels down here. And if you watch up here, we've got a number of panels here the front south array so what we're going to do is these two are going to be set to reach across to the one two on the east and also reach across the roof and land on those panels there to give the washing action so we're going to go ahead and get this set up and then we're going to see how this works this is the first time to try this and i think it's going to do well i'm using these uh, clamps, I'll show you how these work. I'll go ahead and show you how to install that. This panel does not have the flat flange. It actually is molded underneath. So this one is clamped like this. On my other project, you'll see them uh, hanging down instead of going sideways. So I'll show you how that works. All right, this is the uh, stainless steel bracket I get on Amazon. I'll provide a link for it. These are well worth it. If you've got a panel that has a flat flange on the bottom, you turn them like this. This one has a molded frame, so we're turning like this and we're grabbing the back of the frame, okay? The other part of this is a one and a half inch L bracket. I drill two of the holes out at quarter inch. I just put it in my vise and drill those out to quarter inch to put the quarter inch uh, bolts in to hold the uh, one hole strap. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this in like this. Loosen this up, we're gonna put the bracket so it hits the bottom of the clamp there, center it with the uh, deal. We're not going to go all the way up against the glass because the glass and the metal, the expansion contraction will put pressure on that glass and possibly break it. So we're going to drop the clamp down about a sixteenth of an inch. That's what I just did. You didn't see it. You can feel it and you can actually look at it. You can feel a gap there. That's what we want. We don't want it touching the glass. Go ahead and uh, tighten the bolt down here. You make sure you've got that sixteenth of an inch. Tighten that down to about 10 foot-pounds. We're good to go here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and straighten out this bracket here. We can use this wrench to do that. So it's nice and straight. And I still got that sixteenth inch gap. And go ahead and uh, snug up the, uh, the locking nut here. Okay, we're good. That's how you do it. Well, I got all the clamps on and we went ahead and did the uh, PVC work. Let me show you what we did here. This is schedule 40, half inch. And I put a hose fitting on this end. This is where we're gonna be bringing the water up at. I'm gonna be adding another clamp here um, when I come back. And then the one hole straps bolted to here, around. You flare that, half, it's a half inch EMT strap. You just flare it out just a little bit and you strap it on there, it really, holds it nice and tight, very snug. This is gonna be our first wash head, so it's a T-slip glue joints. The threaded half inch is what we're gonna be putting our washing heads in. So we have one here and one down at the other end. Okay, and so all the way down the line, we have about every 32 inches, we have the clamping system with the uh, the EMT strap, it works very well, very solid. You can't go better. You're not penetrating the roof on any system, tile, comp, roof, doesn't matter. Clampies on the edge of the panels. Like I told you, to watch the other videos that have the flat flange at the bottom. And you can see how they're mounted there. Basically, it just turned 90 degrees. But this works very well. And we put the whole strap that way, so we have a little bit of gap here. So it's not pushing up against the panels and it's a nice straight system so then glue it all the way down the line just just glue and 
secure it as you go. So one guy can do this. You can uh, clamp it and go ahead and glue in your joint, put your next piece on down the line. And this is the last strap. And then we have, of course, the, the one at the end here. This is gonna be set at 90 degree spray pattern. And then we have a cap at the end. We have enough here to cut off and add anything else later on if we need to. Again, I'm gonna bring another clamp and put it towards the end so we don't have that play. So I just ran out of clamps today and we'll go ahead and do that. But this turned out very, very nice. So now we're gonna get the hose hooked up, flush it out, and we'll put the sprinkler heads on and do some tests. All right, we went ahead and made some changes. <clears throat> I took the uh, hose bib off at of this end and I put it at the other end because we're gonna route the hose on that side of the house instead of this side. And I added another sprinkler head. I'll show that in a minute. All right, I can't get much closer than this because the water is uh, blowing in my direction. Get the camera wet because it's windy today. But I got the two pop-ups. They're shooting across the roof on the other arrays. I got the van four, which is four foot reach. I got it four foot from this end. It'll cover this end really well because the one on the end, I had to dial it back to about 16, 17 feet to not overspray the other array on the east side too much. And so it wasn't reaching all the way across. Let me show you real quick without getting too wet what it's doing to the other the other rays. So that, hang on a sec. Okay, I am soaked. But you can see that one there goes to the east array, two panels. I'm getting wet right now. And you can see the panels over here getting hit really well with the water all the way across from the one on the west side. All right, it washed for about 10 minutes and it did pretty good, water by itself. Uh, we decided not to put the uh, soap injector on this system. The customer decided it wasn't worth the expense, but it does, too, does pretty good with the water only. Let me show you a couple things. We went ahead and put the 90 in there to make sure He's using a regular garden hose coming up on the roof, which is fine. Some people might want to put PVC pipe work all the way down to the, to the faucet, but easily enough to use your garden hose. Just put a hose bib on there in 90 degree. And uh, anyway, uh, also for the adjustments, by twisting it, you get the rotation set and then this one here the bigger screw incre uh, increases or decreases the spray pattern, okay? So you can go zero to 360 degrees. So on this one, it's set it at about 90 degrees. So you use this with rotating it plus adjusting that screw, you can get it uh, t tuned in to where it's 90 degrees. The other little screw there, well, I'm pointing to, you don't, can't see it, is adjustment for the distance okay so that's how you dial that one in I don't know if uh, if you know about the vans the the variable arc nozzles and uh, let me show you this real quick here there's a little notch right there okay that little notch you line it up on the left hand side where you want that to be so I'll line it up on the edge of the panel and then by turning this top ring it adjusts the pattern from this point to either 0 to 360 degrees. So you can adjust that by turning that top ring. So you line this notch to the left, turn that dial, and it allows it to ad adjust it to the 180 degree um, adjustment there for that. So this worked well to fill in this area. As you saw, very windy day today, so it, it still did pretty good. That one reached across all the way to the front of the array and it reached down to that point right down there on that corner. That one there reached to the, the east array and across the front. One more thing on this, uh, you need to paint the PVC pipe and I'm gonna come back later and paint it with the latex black to match the frame of the panel so it'll look really nice. So if you don't paint it, it's going to turn yellow with the sun and it looks ugly and it'll deteriorate quickly over time. All right, so make sure you paint it. You can spray paint it or brush on latex paint. I pray that you are blessed and that you know him who is the author of life.